We're not, yeah, we're just appending onto the list. Okay, Ooh. hi, I'm Will. I'm Will. I this believe in technicalities. No, I am not pedantic. Don't you even start with me. I am very. I didn't un-pedantic. use that word, but I'm pedantic. <laughs> Don't. Why do I hang out with you? Um. So this, this mainly. I'm that. Will, and um, yeah, I'm just using you for all the money I'm making on YouTube. Um, sick buku bucks. I'm I'm Will. This is this is Luke. We're making a uh, tank shooter game, and mm-hmm. um, last time we were able to download our score from a public Google Sheets that we have in order to find the top five people that are uh, the win. You know the leaders who have played this game. The the top score, top five, and now we are like going your to your mom. Your mom is on there. I think she's on there too. Yeah. Uh, so now what we need to do is make it to where. If you are a great player and you did with you are within the top five, then your name will get entered in there. So fortunately, one of those top five is a negative three. So uh, the ch- your chances are pretty good of uh, being able to insert yourself in there. Un- unfortunately, another one of them is uh, eight thousand and eighty thousand and eighty seven eighty five. Yeah, we might. Some, yeah, something like that. My so that might that. be a little bit. We'll see difficult to beat but you know who knows i believe in you that would take so even if you could do it i don't think it would be that hard all right let's get started you ready you ready ready i suppose so birthday boy We need um, an input object. So if you right click on, I would right click within your step parent, actually. So that way it goes in there. You can always drag and drop it in there anyways, but UI and then there you go. And then we wanna go to input, do one more down. I want the text mesh mesh pro, the quality of it looks way better. So do we need like three of these? No, no, we don't. We need one. The reason why is the because the, the date time is going to be calculated, and the score is already taken care of. Bibbity bobbity kablamo! You got it. And Bob is your aunt. She identifies differently, though. Uh, yeah. So yeah, there you go. That's it. I would probably let's add a message. Maybe we can take this and add it into another object if you want. But just a message that's like. Hey, you qualified. You're within the top five. You're awesome. Should we hide the other scores before? No, I don't see so. I would probably arrange them around to where we don't get a collision. You might need to change your uh, your size of your fonts, move things around a bit, but we need to be it able to... It just seems... Is it going to show up in the score list once we... Mm-hmm. But if we're, but we're already calling this. Okay, I'll see what you have to do. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. You know, we can wait to display it before this other one, before we insert stuff. Um, and you're saying we wouldn't. Either way, I mean, I guess whatever you would prefer, my friend. Yeah, because we could, you know how we sort it? We have to sort first Mm -hmm. in order to know if we qualify. So we would sort first and then check to see if we qualify. If we do, put the input field. Yeah. yeah. Once the input field, that's actually going to be a little bit more complicated um, to do. Now that I think about it. The only reason that I was thinking it would be kind of worthwhile was just so your name would show up on the list you're currently looking at uh yeah it will it will um what i'm thinking though it, it, the problem is, is that the, the 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 management of the next step gets transitioned so ra- right now the management of the next step is in the player player dies and he says display the list you know he tells yep. the score manager to do that and then we would have this thing where we're handing off the, the next step, the, the mantle gets passed over to our input field. Now we have to wait for the player to insert something. And when mm-hmm. they're done, they hit a button, and that button goes in an insert. And 
and that could I, I guess it would be at that spot where we'd say display but we'd also need another path to display if they didn't qualify okay so it'll just add a little it adds a little bit more complexity um, so it's um, and we're I would okay. say just separate it for now, and then if we want, we can add Got it. Got it. Uh, but I would add a message to this as you qualify so that people know what the heck is going on. I can help you do that. So we can right click on where Please. it says Thank you. input script. What? Right click on wherever your whatever that is that you just initial. Initials input. Whatever. And then uh, UI and then text mesh pro. And then where it says new text, you would change that over in the inspector and make it, you qualify, you're amazing. I have my children, something like that. Um, so this, should this be there to like, that. uh, how do I center it? There you go. Hold Is Alt, in press right in the middle. Oh, you want to center the text. I'm sorry. It's yeah. down below. Look at where you changed the font. There this. you go. That's it. And then there's another center, which is more uh, vertically or horizontally speaking, depending on your perspective. I mean. Cool. That's probably good, right? Looks good. Just lower this a little bit. All right, so what I wanna do first is go into the score manager script and refer to this initial input object. So we're gonna go up to the tippity chop. Let's refer to the object here. So we can do public okay. uh, game object and initial score input. So we're gonna call this one, probably call this uh, OBJ. And then save it and make sure that we go and drag and drop it right now while we're thinking about it. That's a it's too smart. So manager script is actually attached right. to there you go. Up, up. Do we wait, yep. wait, wait, wait. That's it. We want that whole thing? The whole thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. There you go. So, Got it. so now we'll, when we're going to start the game, we're going to turn that off. So when we start, we're going to say initial score input. Yep, there you go. It's fine. I'm going to put it here so it's next to this one. Okay. Initial score input, not set active, false. You got it. But right before we do that, let's go up one line or two, whatever. But before we do it, before we set initial score input object as false, I want to grab a component from there first. Mm. So, um, uh, uh, sorry, we need to do like, yeah, let's go up on like, line 21 uh, first and then this one we're going to call. Yeah, we can do it. Um, we're not going to make it public. Just, you can just remove that. You don't need to make it private. We do capital TMP underscore I yeah. Underscore. Yeah, there you go. Capital I N input field. That's what we're doing. Capital F. There you go. That's a key term for Text Mesh Pro. And if you're ever curious, you can go to the object that you want, click Edit Script, and it tells you what the data that type is. Okay. We've done that before. Um, and then we're, let's just call this um, input field, lowercase i. It's fine. Just remember what it is. Cool. We want a semicolon at the end of that one. There you go. You got it. Input field. <sighs> you got it. Input field equals. Grab it from the object. Get component. Same data type, TMP, under, TMP underscore input, there you go. 
Sweet. That's it. And we'll shut it off. Okay. So now we got everything we need, which is super slamming. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So now the idea is, is that let's test it out. Let's make sure that when we play, it goes away. And then, um, it, well, actually, that's it. <laughs> it's just like when we hit play, it that's goes away. That's all we can test right that's now. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, then we get on play. That's great. So now we need to make sure that the player qualifies. And this is going to be after the list has been sorted. So we're going to do that in the merger script. And where does where are we calling the sorting of this of it? So uh, well, that's in tank controller. I hope not. Or sorry, not in tank controller. It's it's here. Okay, perfect. So after we sort it, now we need to know does the player qualify. Now I do see what you mean though. So I said I hope not, which is pretty rude, but I see what you mean. Like we need the score and to compare it with, right? So yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, who has that? Who has the score? Uh, this does. The player has the that? score. Um, does this? Let's go to the top. Let's see what objects it has. Um, player score, it does. Okay, cool. Uh, where is that? Can you double click player score and let me see what it's doing? Where is it called? Is How is it updated? Have we done any of that? Player score equals player score to string that's yeah keep, okay so we're not really using it that's it's just here ironically mostly. named the same thing as the one in here yeah well uh, not ironically it was on purpose yeah i don't know why we have it that's interesting okay um well because we needed to write the score onto the list and then we also needed to we actually pair it here don't yeah so that player score that you hi have highlighted is inside of the player class script. And we don't need one here in the manager script. Oh, so we realistically defining it up here just doesn't make any sense? Exactly. It's not doing it. I don't think it's doing anything at all. Um, and I don't think so either. And there's no input field, unless if it's being called by something else. Let's do this. Let's hit play on at Unity. And we will go to the manager script and see if it changes. So uh, we'll go hit play on Unity. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't save. And then notice there how it says player score. Yeah, well, let's just play the game, shoot a tank, see what oh, happens. Oh, that's what it probably is. Let's see if it's we're updating it. track of the... Don't die. It doesn't change. So that means that okay. it's just static. It's just there. So let's, um, let's update it. What's the best way to do that? I'm just going to... Do we want... Do we still want this? Um, well, we gotta have it at some point. See, player dies. Um, does this have a reference to the player? So we need to make a connection between either the player and the manager script or that input field in the manager script, one or the other. Uh, I say the player, just for okay. whatever. Um, and I don't see a reference to the player, to this actual Yeah, I think player. it goes the other way. Not what? like the, the player references this. Oh, they do? Can you Can you load that up for me? Well, yeah, because we're using this. Beautiful. That's it. That'll right. do it right there. So, so do we want to just do it in here then? Yeah. Yeah, we can just, since it already has it, we can just say save load manager dot player score equals whatever ours is. Whatever I don't know what we call ours. Let's find out what we have it here. Uh, just control F score. Kill count. count. That's it. Ta da! Babity babity bacon. Great. Now we can go to our player script and we have what we need, or manager script, excuse me. And now we have what we need. So let's make sure, let's set it to where did the player qualify. So let's call did player qualify. And we do need any arguments. A cleaner way to do it would be to put in from the player into here but it's yeah it's fine um so like the cleaner way to do it would be like where it says write player text write player's text you would actually put that in as the argument and then as it calls it you would just pull it out just less global variables uh oh yeah no we, we want to undo all of that sorry I, I guess i overcomplicated by explaining that um 
Yeah. Well, you said it twice like I was supposed to do it, so I... I well, on the detour. No, no, I was just wanting to clarify myself. I no, if, you, if you go to the tank controller script, I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So, where we say write player's text, you can actually take kill count and put it in there, mm. is the idea. And that way you don't need a public variable inside of the um, player script, but it's, yeah, let's just leave it the way it is, but... Just so you know your options. Um, major script is what we need. Major uh, did player do gooder, and then we will write that function. Um, Let's make it a bool, actually. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. And then we'll utilize the bool later on, what we call it. We'll, we'll utilize it then. Cool, open and close the brackets, and then let's do uh, for int i. equals zero, i is less than five. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Should it be four? No, no, less than five. Yep. yep Got yep, it. Yep, 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 yep. I plus plus. And that's that. And then open and close your brackets. And then if player list at i, there you go, position dot player score is less than player score <laughs> yeah kill count brought it I know it's yeah it's terrible and then what do we do return true and then we want to go outside of the for loop and just say return false okay so, so then what it's saying is like you're starting from the first player and then yeah. as you come through, if there's ever an instance where the current player at the current score that you're looking at is less than the current score, then return true. Mm -hmm. Cool. So how do we use it? What do we do? So, I mean, my thought would be we would, if it returns true at all, then we um, would like remove well remove the last and then resort oh I see um, before we get there um, okay. you are right before we get there let's let's just make our input field show up so um. <laughs> uh, what's this big brain BS I'm hearing all about? I don't like it. So we'll just say if did player gooder. Just wrap that in an if statement. There you go, and get rid of your uh, semicolon there. You don't need it. There you go. Open and close your brackets, and then we're gonna say. Um, input field object I think or how, what did we call it some initial maybe initial object there you go that's it uh, dot set active and then true is the argument that we put in there butamus so now what we need to do is um, wait win for yes we need to win um, yeah you're right that's what we need to do so in this case, it's done everything it needs to. It's played everything. Um, in our circumstance, what you would do is take your, um, if you wanted to, you would say else. Um, so right after line 95, you would say else, and then you'd open and close your brackets, and that would then set every, the, the rest of the lines from line 96 down are displaying the text. So if you said else, then it won't display the, t the text of the top top scores. Does that, do you see where I'm going? Does that make sense? Yeah, but why would we want to do that? Um, it's, it just depends. You had mentioned like you didn't want to show the list of top players until um, mm. until we we enter in. But uh, that's where you that's your that's your fork in the road if you want to do that later. Here here's a big brain thought for hit for me. later. Yeah, I agree. Me. I agree with this, right? Um, Yeah. We take this and put it into another function. Yeah. And then clear. we put it 
like at the end of whenever they enter their score, mm-hmm. so it calls then and in that else state. Right. Yeah, yeah, you got it. That's exactly okay. what we would do. You want to do it? Okay, let's just do it. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, we don't have we don't have the when this is entered yet, though, right? Yeah, you're right. That's where the baton gets passed off into the input yeah. field, and we have to wait. But the input Solution. field, when it's done, and the little little enter when the enter keys hit, that's where it goes into. Okay. Um, that's where it goes back to this phone. I, this class. I feel like we should do that first. I guess. It's... Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's do it. We are. We are. We are good to go for right now. Um. Let's just win and make sure it goes on. It goes up. Okay. Sounds good. It's taken much longer to compile than it did before. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well. Do what? Uh, maximize. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, no big deal. Now, we died, so we didn't get the top score. Oh, the top score is not... A, you told me the top score was negative. It was, but apparently we have a sixth entry, so... Bad News apparently. Bears. If you ever needed to, you can crack open that Google Sheet you have and start... Um, I just gotta spam until I get two. Yeah. Which makes it seem like a bad game. <laughs> it does. I was just going to say. <laughs> there you go. Pitiful. All right. Now die. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I was, like, oh, I was like, oh, I got three. I'm good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oops. No. That one eluded me for a little bit. <laughs> okay, that was now I fun. can die. Hmm. Well, that's that, that's not good. That boy ain't right. So let's see why what happened. So obviously it's in the did player do gooder. That's the problem. So we know we're inside of that function. So now what I do is start displaying stuff. Debug dot log. Uh, why would I do that there? <laughs> Debug dot log. Uh, player list plus this plus player score interesting EA sports it's in the game I don't know what you were doing I was I was doing I was being, you were dubbing me, uh, right? I only looked at the last second that's so. cool yeah I was pooping that's your pooping face yeah <laughs> and voice yeah you so gotta imagine when you're pooping you gotta you know a lot about me now uh, yeah. Um. Well, it thinks my score is zero. Two is two less than zero. That's interesting. It thinks your score is zero. Okay. So there's I'll, our I like issue. That. Yeah. Way to go. Um. So should we just switch to this, like passing the thing then? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Do you see what we're doing? It's right there. It's right in front of you. The issue. We could do the passing, but it's simpler than that. Can you see it? If I tell you, you're going to be like, oh, man. I mean, it's got to be something on this line, right? There's pressure. I'm going to not look at you. This will help. God damn it. That's the dumbest yeah. thing I've done in a long time. <laughs> Me too. Welcome to d- being a dumb shit. Stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what my boss would call it, dumb shit. <laughs> We're software developers. Look at us. Yeah. Look at us do stuff. <laughs> We're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play it. This oh should work now. Oh my god. I'm going to take out the debug. 
take out the garbage while you're at it. <clears throat> yeah, you know. Well, it, in theory, it should work, so. Yeah. yeah. That was good, though. You caught it. You caught it on your own. That's what matters. I'm tired, too. So it's impressive that I caught it on my own. Maledietz. Maledietz Rabbit Yaga. I know not what this means, shiny white man. <sighs> hey, look. It popped up. Sweet. All right. Now, here's what we do. That's going to go nowhere. So let's make it go somewhere. Or how are, we, how are we doing on time? Let me check the time. Actually, I have no way to check the time. What do you think? It's 5.33. No, I don't mean that time. I mean, like, time of the duration of the video. Nah, let's keep going. This is a weird spot to end. Let's keep going. Okay. I, I don't think it would take much longer to... I want to pass the baton. So what we do is we go into the input object on your score, initial score there in Unity. And if you scroll down, there you go. Is this ours initial input? Um, is there an actual, is this the actual input field? It is the actual input field. Okay, perfect. Do you see where it says on values changed? On value, yeah, those, that's it. So notice the differences there. We want on end edit, right? Yeah. Like when it hits, when we hit enter. The enter key, exactly. Yep, that's the differences between the two. So we would hit the plus button. We're gonna take our save load major object over on the hierarchy. We're gonna click and drag it into right there. You got it. That's it. Now the function that we need isn't available yet, and we want to make it available. And we're gonna make it to where when you click it, do you see where it says dynamic string? We're gonna make it to where that function shows up there. So let's go into the script. Okay. We don't have one yet. And that's what that's where the, the baton gets passed. And I like to add in here, I like to add in on the top on line 141, two backslashes and say called from input or something like that. So you know, because um, it could be a quite tedious. Cool. So we need, yeah, it's a void and then it has to have a string as the argument in order to show up. That's perfect. Update sheet, I love it. String, and then, you know, new, new user, uh, whatever you want to call it. Initials, perfect. Great. And um, cool. So the first thing I like to do is to make the input field inactive. So we have it. And it was the one that we had T in it. There you go. Yeah, input field. And let me see what the variable is called. I don't remember. So let's find out. Actually, we we, we want to leave it there. I'll show you what, what we're doing. It's a little bit different than that. Let's go into Unity, and I'll show you where it is. So you stay right there. It's in your inspector on the right-hand side. And if you scroll up to the tippy top, there, image, there it is. Okay. So do you see image? Now leave that. Collapse it though with the little arrow. There you go. Perfect. It's the first tick box, interactable. You see it? There you go. That's it. Now if you unclick that, see how it's mm -hmm. grayed out? And now the user can't put in more input. That's We want to access that and turn that gotcha. off. Okay. So we just do initials. I think it's called input. input field. I think that's what we call it. Let's go up to the top to make sure that, because it's not the object that we want, but the input field specifically. Yeah. Okay, okay cool. Dot interactable. Yeah, I think so. Is it capitalized or no? Uh, it's an object. It's a member. So I, th or not an object, a member, well, excuse me. So I think it should be lowercase. Okay. That's. We'll find out though. It'll bark at us if not. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's so interactable equals false. Actually, not an argument, just equals. Because, you know, <laughs> consistency. Cause, um, yeah, because it's not a, we're not doing an action, we're setting a parameter. Right. Okay. Right. Um, all right, so I'm wondering though, you wanna have initials. So let's, um, let's get crafty. You don't have to. Let's get crafty. But. We it's, can just set the max. Can't, isn't like 
there should be like a parameter in here or something for max length of the no it's not it's back where we were we could do this yeah that's not gonna be inside of there we have to do it a little more manually which is fine you can let's delete um that or just like move it aside so you want to indent it over once and then on top of it do an if statement and our if statement is going to compare these initials string that we have so if initials dot length and I, I don't know um we'll have to see if that parameter is, is right but yeah if it's greater than four um then or rather less than th uh less than four you could just say less than four be the I want we just to okay however you want to do it it's fine but yeah you get yeah. the idea it's got to be less than four um and now i want to make sure that that syntax is right so let's uh let's load up our googles and see uh just do in google search for string length c sharp okay capital Looks l like length it. yeah cool and then uh, the other thing we want to check too do you want do you want to allow numbers is that okay why not okay cool perfect great and that's it that should be it yeah i'm um, not doing regex the idea is is that like um the idea is is that if it, if yeah if you hit enter that um and if it's greater than four um that it won't let you well we should do like i think we'll, we'll have to play around with it we should do like a message box or something right now that's going to be harder because we have to have a new textbook a new text string that we actually introduce into the into the scene um, so, I don't know. It's up to you. You can remove that too if you want, but yeah, that's we'll, that's we'll how you do it. it later. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's not MVP. No, it is not. You gotta you gotta MVP to be a MVP. Okay. So we have it, and let's let's do this. Let's um, let's add it into the. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add it into the list and then display that list. And that's all we're gonna do. And then we'll do the uploading into the Google Sheets in the next video. So um, so now we need to do is input the user in into our list and then sort it again. Mm -hmm. And this should be pretty chill. Um, so first we need the, we, we have the input. Um, so the input string is the initials that's brought in. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And then we need the date time. So if you do capital D date, capital T time, one word, date time, that's the class type. Uh, just call it, I don't know, local date or something, now, something like that, today, perfect. Equals system, capital S system, sorry, dot date time, dot now. And before we, yeah, semicolon, and before we continue, uh, let's go way up to the top and make sure you're using system. I wanna make sure you have that here. Cause you're gonna need that class. You are, cool, line six, perfect. So we can go down to the bottom. Okay, now what we wanna do is just get the date. I don't want, so this, uh, yeah. to, today has a lot of stuff. It's got the date, it's got the time and the seconds and all that jibbity jabber. So we're gonna do, this is a weird way to do it. And if you know a better way to do it, comment down below, let me know. Uh, lowercase string, and then open and close your brackets. So we're gonna have a, an array of strings. And then we're gonna say new. Oh, you're gonna split out. Yep. New date. Actually, we need to declare the variable name as new date or something like that or date. Yep. Perfect. Equals the one that you just had before. So today. Dot capital T two string. And then open and close your parentheses. There you go. And then dot capital S split. Cool. Open your parentheses inside of there. We want to have a single quote and a space. I think a double quote should be okay. C sharp's kind of weird about single characters. They like to see single single quotes about single characters. Cool. That's it. So that'll grab that first one. So now we need to create a new leader class, and we have a parameterized constructor. So we will create. We'll do a new line, and we'll say player class script which I think should be a capital P. There you go, that's the class type and the variable name. You, honestly, like we're we're towards the end of the scope of this variable. And when we get to the very end, I, I call my variables garbage, like P, yeah, winner, perfect. <laughs> um, equals, 
new player class script. Yeah, perfect. And then we're going to open our parentheses and we're going to add in our three arguments in there. And the first one is the name, which is our initials that we just have from the top. Our second one is our player score, um, which I think we call it player score. Dot, uh, we need to make it a string, so make sure you say dot capital T two string because it's a it's a in uh, an integer right now. Mm -hmm. Make sure you've got your um, at the end of two string. It's a function. Yeah, there you go. Got it. Cool. And then we want a uh, new date. Yeah. One or is it zero? You're right. Zero. I'm glad you asked that. I would have forgot. And then semicolon at the end of all that jibber jabber. Okay. Yeah, good job. It's zero because we parsed it into different strings and we just want the first one. Good. Cool. So now let's... And... Oh, go ahead. Okay. Okay, and the next line is we're going to add this now into the list. So player list dot add, capital A add. And then we need a function. It's a function and the argument inside is going to be this winner. So we're now appending it onto our list. So cool, okay. it's gonna append on the list, but because we already sorted it, it's gonna go to the back of the list. Or even if it's not, it's still just gonna append whatever. So we Got sort it. our list again, and we just call it sort player list. Sweet, that's it. And then now we need to write the player list again, or whatever it's called, write player list text. Oh, which sorts it already, perfect. So just call write player list text, you don't need to call the sort. But won't that make the box pop up again? It will. It will. Yeah. It will. So what we should do is do what you were mentioning earlier. Let's take lines 97 through 108 and put them in a different function and then we'll call that different function. Okay. So lines 97 through, um, yeah. So you were mentioning doing that. Good idea. I don't know, display text or something. Um, the other thing we... We gotta call it first before we... Yeah, so make yeah. sure we call it. Uh, I would do it outside of this, not there, outside. Outside of the did player do-gooder. Yep, line 96 or 97. Well, isn't that gonna be in the else statement? Isn't that gonna be a no statement? Oh, I mean, yeah, if you wanted to, yeah. It definitely don't. You well, don't want to put it in there. Why not? Right. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, if yeah, the player yeah, yeah. didn't qualify, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So that okay. calls the one. That's cool. And now let's go. Um, Or no, no, we don't need to sort yeah. it again if we do that. We need to call that um, here, and then we need to do yeah, this. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Got it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're good. So now I just have to do good. Uh, you got interactables false. You know, I, I realized we have... Yeah, we'll see how this works. No errors. I'm not sure about how we, the only, oh, we need to set the function. So we'll go to the input field. I'm not sure. Uh, let's go back to Unity and then we'll go to the input field. Ah, yes. And then, yeah, then we'll do that. And that should be, yeah, that's where I want it. Is it there? I don't see it. Oh, update sheet. Yeah, it's that one. that's it. Is that it? Yeah, that's the one. Why did I name it that? It's got to have the same parameters, so it's looking for a string. That's why it qualifies. I'm not sure if we put it in the right. Notice how we have a couple options there: on value changed, on value end edit. I don't know if that's what we want because the user might have to hit enter or like click out of the box. Um, but we might want a separate submit button. But we'll, we'll if that's the okay. case, we'll test it out and see. Sure. So you got to win. Same thing, it just has to be three because the one we's, we've done before has not been actually updated. Right. Yeah. And this one also won't update it because we haven't uploaded onto. Damn. Redo. Womp womp. 
Yeah. If you ever wanted to, we could just go to Google Sheet and make all the scores zero. So no, that's okay. Okay. Look at you. Pro. I love that shadow on the number, the little two there. It just And the shadows of the bullets, it's just like, yeah, this is looking really polished. All right, die, friend. I like the way you die. No. <laughs> Something went wrong. Uh, how do I unmaximize? I don't oh, know. No. Just unplay. It's fine. No console errors. Huh. Well, would those have... All right, so... Gone away if I stopped playing? Would those have gone away if I stopped playing? Uh, no, they stay there. Okay. So let's go into the script, and we're just about done. I think we can finish this up really quick, and let's see what we got. Um, so let's let's start from the beginning. Player dies, and they call what function? Uh, they call player dies, and it calls the right player list. Okay, right cool. So let's start text. from there. Right player's text. We changed a lot of this, so I wonder if that's it. Sort player list. Did player do gooder? Yes, they did. Player did gooder, so we set it to active, and that never happened. That just, I, I nothing was on that screen. There was no. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I'm wondering. Let's do this. Let's try copy display list, and let's do the thing that I that I told you not to do. Let's, uh, you got display list on 96. Let's copy that and put it right above, yeah, inside of there. Because display list probably shows the entire object that the input box is a part of, right? I think so. Because we're real smart people. Well, I was the one that was very adamant about you not doing that. And I apologize for being a jerk. say you've tested all this you know when as we're doing it this is not you the way I did it ours has variants claim you tested all this oops well at least something comes up yeah that's good that's a good point It's there. Ta -da. Ta -da. Wow. Shut up, bro. We did it. Yeah, we did. We did it. Did it. Yeah. yeah. Next time, we're going to take that and then append it onto the Google Sheet to where you our loyal fans can actually play this game we'll hit you up with the link and when we make the webgl build you play the game and then we can see your top scores on here too it'd be great thanks for watching you're the best make sure to subscribe hit us up on discord say what's up on their discord channel no that's that's just him you can do that to him i don't want any part in that there's no one in there it's just it's literally just me Wait, you have a Discord channel? You have a Discord server? Yeah. I wasn't invited? No, it's in every link, in every video. You click the link in the video, it's on the bottom. Look at the bottom, look, it's right there. Look, 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 you see it? Scroll down. I'm scrolling. All right. I got my eyes on you. You, you look down there, it's good stuff. And we got my portfolio on there too. All right, you're great. I'll see you next week. Thanks for being awesome. Farewell. <laughs>